Welcome to the Illinois Solar Education Association's presentation, Powering Your Home with the Sun. In this brief video, you'll hear from an actual homeowner on his experience installing and living with solar-generated electric power. Hello, my name is Peter Gore. I'm a volunteer solar ambassador with the Illinois Solar Energy Association. In this short video, I'm going to review my experience of living with solar generated electricity for my home. Now, I've done this two times, beginning in 2011 and then when I moved to this home in 2017. Now, in 2011, my motivation was a concern about climate change. In 2017, my belief is there really is no more practical or economic home improvement a person can undertake. So come with me, we'll go outside and begin to review the features of the system and the benefits. The system I had installed consists of 21 330 watt panels for a total of just under seven kilowatts. Fortunately, uh, the front of my home faces directly south and I have no shading issues. Also, you'll notice that the panels don't rest against the shingles. They're mounted on rails and there is a little bit of space underneath the panels. So I do keep an eye on any critters deciding to make a home under there. It's never been a problem. Now, the solar panels on my roof, they produce DC electricity. So our homes use AC, so that DC needs to be converted to the AC and that happens by way of what's known as an inverter. This box is hanging in my garage. Now there's not much I do with the inverter but it does provide me with some information about my system. For instance I'll, I'll look at it and you'll see I'm currently so far today produced close to 13 kilowatt hours of energy for the month 181 for the year 2.4 megawatt hours and a total since being installed of 23.4 megawatt hours. Now another important piece of equipment for this system is the meter uh, on, the, on your house which is installed by the utility and this monitors the energy both coming into the house and the energy coming from the system that's being put on the grid and at the moment um, the arrow is pointing to the grid meaning that I'm putting energy onto the grid and this back and forth is known as net metering and we'll talk more about that very important component Another capability you'll have is you'll be able to go online and see your system and its production, both current and historic reports. You'll be able to see day, week, monthly, yearly reports. Um, you can compare year-over-year -year production as well as see real-time how your system is behaving panel by panel. Now I mentioned earlier something called net metering. That's the back and forth of energy from my system to the grid and when I need it, energy from the grid to my home. Um, one of the best ways to illustrate this is to look at a electric bill. And you'll see here the top row saying kilowatt hours from the grid. That's what the utility is sending me when I need it. And when I'm producing excess, I send it to the grid. You'll see here that I sent them more than they sent me this particular billing period. And what they do is they don't buy that energy. What they do is they hold it in reserve. And you can see I have 140 kilowatt hours um, sitting there that will roll over into the next month. Now, since I produced more than I used, my supply cost is eliminated. I am tied to the grid, so I pay delivery charges, and of course, we can't escape taxes and fees. Um, so this particular month where I produced excess, you can see I paid something, but it was very little. Here's another way to illustrate that important concept of net metering. Um, here I'm showing 
a typical production curve for a system. Again, short days in the winter lead to longer days in the summer and shorter days as we get back into winter again. Um, and over here, your usage in winter will be high. Spring and fall will be low compared to the winter and the summer where you have furnaces going, a lot of lights, um, air conditioning going here. So what you see is periods where um, you're not producing enough, other periods where you're producing excess. So think about that rollover. When I roll all this excess over to this period, I hopefully will wipe that out. And when I look back at the end of the year, I've pretty much covered all of my usage with my production. Now the first question people have when they're shopping for solar is how much is this going to cost? What I'm showing is the pricing I paid three years ago in 2017 for my system. Now over time, the price, the installation costs, as well as the various incentives, both from the federal government and from your state, can vary. What I'm showing you is in 2017, what I ended up paying after all incentives, which was under $10,000. You can see if I look long term over some 25 years and if I had done nothing, I anticipated I would have paid close to $40,000 for the energy that this system is generating. Instead, I'm paying under $10,000. So that's a savings of close to $30,000 over this, this time period. We hope you found this video helpful and informative, but it is no substitute to meeting with and discussing your needs with a qualified contractor. For more information about solar in general, you can visit the website that is shown here or contact the Illinois Solar Education Association or the Illinois Solar Energy Association at the email listed here. Also, for your convenience, you can go to the website listed to start to research professionals in your area. Thank you.